Hey guys, this is Starry from Starry Sky Gaming, and welcome to this GU38 Hardlight DPS uh, loadout, rotation, and uh, build video. Now, this video I'm going to show you how I've done my PowerPoints, I'm going to show you the loadout, I'm going to tell you some interesting facts about it, I'm going to show you the Weapon Master build I'm using, and then I'm going to go through the complete rotation for you. Okay, so let's get started and go to the PowerPoints. Okay, so with the PowerPoints, as a standard for the Assault Tree, Light Claws, Mini Gun, Ram, Strafe and Run, Whip Fresh, Chompers, Fan, Snap Trap, and the Support, Boxing, Recharge, Entrap, Inspiration. You have to put a PowerPoint in like one of these site to unlock to get an inspiration. Now what I've done is I've put a PowerPoint in Tactical Genius and Rebel Psychic. I didn't put a PowerPoint in this one because I'll explain why in a minute and uh, you'll see why I didn't because Doing this allowed me to get everything I wanted to to maximize my DPS. Okay, so now to the loadout. Okay, so first of all we'll go through it and then I will tell you uh, some stuff about it which I would like to mention. So we have Chompers, Inspiration, Snap Trap, Fan, Robot Sidekick, Strafe and Run. Okay, so first of all, this is our uh, what should we say, AOE burst damage, damage over time and power interaction. This is our precision and critical buff, our primary combo starter. This is our addition to our combo. And the robot psychic is like a permanent dot. And then we have our supercharge, which does instant damage and uh, damage over time. Okay, so now let's get to uh, the facts and explain why I've missed out the PowerPoint in the Iconics. Now, a main combo is going to be snap trap fan, and then we clip the fan with another fan, just creating a lot of AoE. Permanent dot, supercharge. But the most important two skills for this loadout is these two, is Chompers and Inspiration. Now I'll explain why. Yes, this does damage, but mainly this is important for because it's an AoE daze effect. Now the AoE daze effect lasts 12 seconds. Inspiration gives you a 12 second buff of critical and precision, right? But the most important thing to remember is the cooldown of Inspiration is exactly 12 seconds as well. So this just means that we're permanently going to have our... Uh, critical buff up, there's no delay on it, so we, so we buff it, we get our uh, 12 second buff, and when it's finished we is able to use it again. But the most important thing is that we use this 12 second cooldown as a timer to reapply the daze effect. The daze effect lasts 12 seconds. The inspiration's cooldown is 12 seconds. So this just means we go chompers, clip it with inspiration, every time inspiration's cooldown is finished to reapply the daze effect and get our buff. To get our buff. Now, as you see, those two skills very important. Just explained why. Main combo, damage over time, and our supercharge. Right, so now let's get to the weapon mastery build, and then I'll go to the rotation, and you can see everything for yourselves. Okay. So, the um, weapon mastery I'm using for this is uh, dual wield into explosive shot. Quick, all AoE damage. Allows you to get into your construct combos that much quicker. Now there are other ones you can use, but this one is personally, I think, is uh, probably the best one for hard light. Okay, so we have our skill point in our movement, so remember to get that. And then what we want to do is we want to set up our mastery. So first of all, we want to set up our dual wield mastery, so four down the middle. But remember, you need to spend 20 skill points and include uh, the names of all the attacks listed in the top right. But simply, four down the middle, get your DPS and eights. I got dominance and uh, the defense. Now the reason why I get Dominance 4 is because it just gives me a, a little bit of crowd control of uh, enemies when it comes to solos, duo content. You won't have enough Dominance to affect anything in alerts and raids, so I wouldn't worry about that. It just gives me a little bit of CC effect on stuff in uh, solos and duos. Now the um, combos I'm going to be setting up for melee and for range is going to be the free tap hold hold which is the uh, well, basically you know the uh, free hold stun into the uppercut which is AOE into single target and then for explosive shot it is the hold hold range which is just all AOE and it's quick okay so what we need to do now is we need to go into brawler and bow and set these up so remember to fall down the middle 20 skill points and then we go into, well, let's go into bow next. So get this, get the attacks listed here. So simply five down the middle, two on the left. Sorry about that. Get our DPS and eights. 
I put three in defense, and with one I needed, I put in HP, which allowed me to lock the mastery. I lock the mastery, go to brawling, do the same, get the attacks listed up here. So five down the middle, one on the right. DPS and eight, got my HP. Put the, put the rest in dominance to equal 20 skill points, and unlocked the bas uh, brawler mastery. Go back to dual wield, and then put a skill point in. Uh, launching uppercut and in explosive shots. Now this is our mastery setup. Now what we do after that is we want to go and get all the criticals. Now uh, get your critical attack chance before you get the critical attack damage. But I'm just literally going to go through the trees and I'll show you what I mean. So, so literally fall down the middle, get your critical, and just do this for all the trees. Just go down the middle and get your criticals. But make sure you're going down the trees first to get your critical attack chance before the critical attack damage. Right, so simply simply go down to the middle of all the trees and get your criticals. Criticals are the most important thing for a DPS. There's no point in having a high stats if you don't have the criticals to back them up. So down the middles, get the critical attack chance, and then down the middles and get the critical attack damage. This will be our um, mastery setup, our combo mastery that we're going to use setup, our critical setup, and now we can start going and get your nades. So what we do now is we go back to dual wield. Go down to the very bottom, get the plus 25. Get down to bow, scroll down to the middle, get the plus 25. And then in brawl in, go down the middle and get the plus 25. And then what we want to do after that, since we're hard light and hard light is a precision based power, what we want to do is we want to go into the other trees and start working on the second row at the bottom into the precision to start looking at the N8s at the bottom. So dual pistols, so literally I need to spend 20 skill points as well, Not I don't need to include any of the attacks because we're not unlocking the mastery, we're just unlocking the innate of the bomb, so pretty much any 20 skill points. So we've already unlocked, we've done four in the middle, and we've done our critical attack damage. So then you know, when I say the second row innate, so basically we would specifically target these ones with the precision, and then spend 20, and then spend 20 extra skill points, so basically defense, and I put some in uh, dominance to unlock the innate at the bottom. So then we can get our maxed uh, 25 down there. Um, hand blast is martial arts. I don't think hand blast is. Yep, it does. So precision and hand blast is as well. I need to spend 20 skill points as well. So I got my HP, got my dominance, put two in restoration, which unlocked the 25 at the bottom. So max that. One handed, I think. Yep, so that allowed me to go into one-handed, get the precision, got the HP, started working on the dominance, but I ran out of skill points then. Which then, once I've got enough skill points, I would fill out these to un unlock the precision in one-handed. And then, I think it's rifle. So the precision and rifle, spend 20 skill points, so I'd get like HP, dominance. If I need to spend any more, I'd get some resto to unlock the innates at the bottom. And then I would go into staff, which has the last precision. I would get I would get defense, dominance, and then I'd probably get HP or restoration, depends what you prefer, to unlock the innate bomb. And then you'd do and then you'd go through the rest of the trees, like two handed, shield, martial arts, and get the uh might innates uh on the second row at the bottom. And that's the full build. Now I'll show you what the mastery looks like for the range, which is what we're gonna be using. So let's you hold and hold simple and it'll do a high amount of AoE damage. Okay, so let's remember some of you psych your robot psychic. This is just like a permanent dot. And um, as I said earlier on, remember your most important skills is Chompers, Eclipse of Inspiration. The date effect lasts twelve seconds, your buff lasts twelve seconds and the cooldown of inspiration is twelve seconds. So you can use this as a timer to uh, to reapply the date effect and also to permanently have your uh, well buff up really so it's just a really good thing but also to note the loadout is a very high damage modifier loadout chompers is only a 45 percenter which is still very high but the rest is all 50 inspiration is 50 snap trap is 50 fan is 50 so it literally gets it so we literally have a really high uh, modifier loadout with a very uh, good chompers uh, into inspiration 
date effect timer. Well, and also buff. Okay, so literally, the rotation is simple, right? We want to do a weapon mastery. But first of all, before we even start doing that, we want to use our most important skills, which is basically, so that's like a group of ads or one single target. We literally just go chompers of inspiration. This would apply its burst damage, chompers damage over time, days effects, and then we get our buff. And as you can see, the cooldown of it is really quick. The days effect runs out, inspirations just run out. We reapply um, chompers of inspiration for the days effect and buff. So literally, it'd be chompers script of inspiration, and then we go weapon mastery. Simple, effective does AOE damage, and we're buffed. And you just saw the Rebel Psychic that just, just, just does a hell of a lot of damage and has a free dot. Okay, so, we have Inspiration clipped with number two, and then we do a Weapon Mastery, and then after that, it's literally gonna be Snap Trap. So, one and two, Weapon Mastery, and three. Now, thanks to inspiration, a weapon mastery had a 50% damage modifier, and Snapchat would have had a 50% damage modifier. And Snapchat itself is a 50% damage modifier. Okay, so after that part, it's going to be one and two again: weapon mastery, snap trap, and then tap and range to get fan. So let's look tap lock on it instead. So one and two, weapon mastery, snap trap, and tap and range to get fan. Plus, the good thing about Snap Trap as well, it's a single target damage over time. So not only do we have Rebel Psychic do it being a permanent dot, we have Chompers doing an AoE dot, and we have Snap Trap doing another dot. So we have plenty of dots going while we're doing a high burst damage. Okay, so after that, we've done our uh, Chompers, Inspiration, Weapon Mastery, and then we've done the Snap Trap into Fan. What we want to do is when we tap range to get the Fan, we want to use Fan from our loadout to clip it. So it only looks like one, step one is appearing, but we're getting the damage from the precision-based construct. Okay, so one and two, weapon mastery. Number three, tap and range for fan, and then fan from the loadout. As you can see, only one fan was constructed, but we got the damage from the precision-based one, which we'll tap and range to do, but we clipped it with fan from a loadout. And that's all there is to it, we just keep repeating that. So let's see if I can put a few of them together. So, by the looks of it, you can actually put three together before you have to reapply uh, the data effect clip to number two. So, literally, the full rotation is one and two, whip mastery, snap trap into fan. And then the fan clipped with the fan from the loadout, and we repeat Weapon Mastery with Snap Trap into Fan Fan three times before we reapply Chompers clipped with Inspiration. It's an effective loadout, it works, and it's high damage. Okay, but let's see if we can put that. Let's see if. Uh, let's see what we're like when we're fully buffed. So let's get a soda, Supply Drop Trinket, Chompers Inspiration. and repeat. So yeah, exactly three rotations. So inspiration so chompers inspiration weapon mastery snap trap fan fan uh, three times before we reapply chompers clips of inspiration. And there we have it. Short, effective, high damage. And it's not that hard to do. And you can see it's just a quick, fast weapon mastery does high AoE damage. So guys, let me know what you think of this uh, loadout build, weapon mastery, anything like that. If there's anything that you think could be slightly better, please do not hesitate to let me know. Um, so thank you very much for watching this. I hope you guys have fun with it. And um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you then.